Well, we got a box of oil that came in. We're gonna take the oil and we're gonna put it in there. And if the uh, engine gods are with us, we might start this today or try to start it. We still gotta do the phasing. Uh, George is working out a few squawks and settings. I am going through and doing more of the hardware stuff. Basically, I went through and checked, torqued, and torque sealed every oil line, every fuel line. Um, we're gonna do the flow test once the wing tanks are on, but that is all set to go. Now I'm gonna put the real bolts onto this and think of anything that we could have missed. I'm gonna mount this here. I'm gonna put a P-clip, um, take that rivet out, and then we're gonna put the prop on and the spinner and all that stuff. So we'll keep you posted, but it might be another exciting episode of Rand's 21 Garage here. I got these nuts on. These were fun because they only turn like a quarter turn and there's a lot of tension on them to get them all the way up there. But I got gasket, the space air gasket, servo fuel body, whatever you want to call it, gasket, box, and then I have my little space in there. I safety wired those things. And now I uh, put the prop back on. I've had it on before. I didn't show that, sorry. But uh, this time it's for real. So we're going to do the torque where you have to go one, four, six, three, five, two, and then torque them in different increments until everything's tight, so. faced with is that they don't um, I only have a quarter inch and a half inch torque wrench I started to do this in inch pounds I'm like that doesn't seem right it's foot pounds so that was a the um, but between the adapters I need to go for the foot pound I actually had to take this off and now uh, I can do it with these torque to 30 foot pounds not inch pounds and safety wired and I hope I got my lefty loosies ready tighties tight uh, if this doesn't look right to anybody let me know but uh, I think it's right the bolts cannot go lefty loosey so on to the prop so if I'm reading this right these are gonna be we have three eighth bolts in here, I think. Let me double check. And those will be, now we're back to inch pounds. So 300 inch pounds equals 26, 25, 26 foot pounds. Yeah, we're putting some fluids in the in the body here. We got our little jury rigged uh, Amazon pump, the Makita battery, and some blue fluid going in there. George is putting some blue bottles with gold fluid in the engine. We have some visitors here to witness. Say hello. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, again, it'll be exciting, but not too exciting. All right, so that's five gallons in there. Pretty happy. Everything seems to be dry. So far we've only pressure tested it. The liquid gold that seals that in seems to be working. And once we put the tail down, we'll see if anything leaks back there. So we're going to do the phasing. We got the spark plug wires off and the coils and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it.
Hey, what do you think? Let's to start it. <laughs> Um, Probably one of those things where we... Everybody's standing back. Where's Chris? <laughs> um, sorry, so two more. You got the video rolling? I mean, uh, just the... Just the camera. Um... Oh, there was a starting procedure. Um, <laughs> this is for the throttle body. Place mixture control in idle cutoff position. Yep. Uh, set throttle to eighth inch open. Master switch on, boost pump on, move mixture control to full width until a fuel flow indicator reaches 4 to 6 down and throttle, and you need a little turn mixture control to cut off position. self-priming pump and that's why they want you to do that fuel flow thing. Well, let's try this. So we'll open this. The gravity flow to get the fuel into the pump. This is the fill. Oh boy, this is scary. Now we have a lot of fuel. How do we relieve that pressure? <laughs> Oh, go full rich for fuel flow. All right. Do it again. So now the PSI went down. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going in the engine. Mm -hmm. So see gallons per hour. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, five, six. 
Right? Well, it, when it say pull out, or is it going to I think you just you leave it in. I mean, it's the same as starting it. Right. Are you ready? Half an inch or so. Ready? Yep. Clear prop! like the time I gotta read up on the timing advance thing because I wired up a thing to be able to measure that and then the light speed ignition was registering opposite what would be expected so it might be like active high instead of active low. Um, like you got oil pressure, pressure is good. Oil temperature is the only one we don't have. So it's still at 57. And that one is back here. The whole engine has to come up. But it's reading something. 57 degrees but um, like you. It's not, I mean, it should have warmed up. Oh, is the vermitherm not open? Is that what it is? Well, did you notice that, like, I don't notice... Is, it, is this the vermitherm? Yeah, but, like, why is it got that weird, like, why is that so far out? Um, I don't know, but... I, I don't know. I didn't touch it. Like, is there, like, steam gonna come out? Well, yeah, I mean, the crankcase oil will be warm, but that... Well, actually no, because that will circulate it through the uh, oil filter, right? Yeah, I see the steam's coming out. It should be higher than 57. It should be in the 70s at least. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, there's a connection here. I can check the connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll get back here. Well, that was a big milestone for us today and certainly very, very exciting. Um, glad it wasn't too exciting in the fact that nothing really went wrong. Everything went quite awesome. 
we had a little bit of a hang up because <clears throat> we couldn't get fuel to the engine and the pump was going and going and going and I know in the manual it says that you have to do the fuel drain test but since we have the wing don't have the wings hooked up I was like oh we'll just skip over that we'll measure it later <clears throat> but it's not a self priming pump we found out the hard way so the short answer was lift the tail up fuel goes through the pump pumps into the engine start it right up so that was that we were a bit confused in the uh heat of it all about the phasing of the engine so we did whatever tests we thought were right and I ended up swapping two of the BNC connectors because uh, George brought up a good point about one of the ignition boxes needs to do all the cylinders and the other ignition box needs to do all the cylinders so swap that and whatever luck we had everything worked just perfectly I don't no rhyme or reason I'm going to label them now so we know what works um, all the sensors worked, all of the, um, oh, the oil, temper <laughs> oil temperature did not work. And I kind of panicked because that's the hardest one to get out because you literally have to pull the engine off the firewall to get at it. Um, but it was just a setting in the electronics. George figured that out. Um, other than that, complete success. Uh, a few, you know, little things we're going to look at during the next engine run. But um, incredible work by uh, George with all the wiring and I'm pretty proud of nothing seemed to have gone wrong. Everything looked absolutely right on point. So yeah, pretty excited. Uh, probably have to do some editing on this video because there's very long periods of time of just recording while we were trying to do this. Sorry, it's uh, uh, a little monotonous maybe, but Anyway, very excited. Gonna end it here. See ya. Good night.